Alright, today I will be replacing the keyboard on a T135D. Uh, this procedure is very similar for many of the uh, satellite lineup, uh, so it should work for most of them. The first thing you're going to want to do is remove the battery, as I have done here. There are just two little clips that slide out, and you can just push it right out. And then you will notice that there are two screws. Two screws one on the right side and one on the left. Go ahead and remove those. Once you have those two screws removed, you can go ahead and flip it over. And you'll notice a small little bezel piece right along the top of the keyboard. Now there are little tabs on the ends. I hope it's going to let me focus here. But there are little tabs on the ends, so pull up from the middle and that will release the tabs. <coughs> then you'll notice one, two screws on the top. And at this pop right up, flip it over like this, okay, and now there's one connector, let's see if I can, okay, there's one connector right here, and the way you release this is you just lift up on the black part, okay, so you pop it up, and then this cable comes right out. And then take your new keyboard, flip it over, so you've got it like this, flip it like this. And then this piece just goes right in the way you took the old one out. Just line it up, sit it in there, and clamp it down. And make sure you get all the tabs along the bottom in. Follow up the sides, just like that. Replace these two screws. Okay. And replace this piece. Uh, like I mentioned before, make sure you get these tabs. Don't try and push them in. Uh, make sure you actually get them underneath of uh, the section. Okay, so you get both sides in, and you'll still have like a little arch in the middle. And then once you've got the sides in, you can press along the top here. And that will release all these clips. And sometimes you'll need to just like wiggle it a little bit. Just be careful because it is plastic, so the more pressure you put on it, the more uh, obviously stress it's going to have. Okay. Once it's flat, you can go ahead and close it. And take these two screws. These are very important, don't forget these, or else your keyboard may bow in the middle. Alright, and then replace your battery. And that's it. All done. New keyboard. Ready to go. Thanks for watching.